हेलो एवरी वन माई सर डॉक्टर दीपाली विट्टल थ्री मुखे आई एम वर्किंग एज ए जूनियर रेसिडेंट इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस एट बीके रूरल मेडिकल कॉलेज रत्नागिरी सो माई टॉपिक ऑफ पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन इज रोल ऑफ एम आर आई इन इवेल्युएशन ऑफ सर्वाइकल कार्सिनोमा सो यूट्रेन सर्वाइकल कैंसर इज द थर्ड मोस्ट कॉमन मैलिग्नेंसी अफेक्टिंग द फीमेल जेनाइटल ट्रैक्ट इन मिडल एज ग्रुप बिटवीन फोर्टी फाइव एंड फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर्स its incidence is increasing rapidly in developing countries the figo staging system updated in 2009 is commonly used for treatment planning mri is the preferred imaging modality because of its ability to assess soft tissue in detail permitting thereby identification of stromal and parametrial invasion as compared to ct mri tells us the exact volume shape and di- direction of the primary lesion local extent of the disease and nodal status accurately which helps the clinician in treatment planning tumor behavior to chemo radiation is also be- better evaluated with mri so the aim of my study is to find out the efficacy of mri in diagnosis of cervical cancer with histopathological correlation and to find out the efficacy of mri in detecting the local extent and spread of the disease so this is a descriptive observational study the sample size included is 20 this study took place in integration of department of radio diagnosis obgyn and pathology in our institute pelvic mri is performed in 1.5 tesla mri machine phase array coils are recommended the field of view is 320 to 360 with slice thickness of less than 3 mm the standard sequences obtained were a t1 weighted a t2 weighted image were obtained pre and post distension of the vagina by the vaginal gel for better appreciation of the lesion a t1 post contrast fat set and diffusion weighted images so the inclusion criteria of my study consisted of females with clinical suspicion of the cervical cancer presenting with abnormal uterine bleeding the exclusion criteria consisted of operated case of ca cervix and patient who underwent treatment also the result of my study is on per speculum and per vaginal examination the cervix was bulky and tend to bleed on touch in all the included patients on mri 17 out of 20 patients demonstrated hyperintense signal on t2 weighted images heterogeneous enhancement and diffusion restriction was observed in all the included patients out of 20 patients nine patient demonstrated the lesion confined to cervix that is figo stage 1b eight patient demonstrated figo stage 2a and three patient demonstrated figo stage 2b on histopathological correlation 19 out of 20 cases was squamous cell carcinoma and one was adenocarcinoma so this is t2 weighted image sagittal image of mri pelvis uh, here we can see a t2 hyper intense lesion involving the anterior wall of cervix the second image is obtained by uh, distension of the vagina by the vaginal gel here we can appreciate the lesion better uh, which appeared hyper intense on t2 weighted image uh, in the anterior wall of the cervix so this is the new case uh, this is the t2 weighted image pre distension of the vagina by the vaginal gel which con- which showed a t2 hyper intense lesion in the posterior wall of the cervix uh, extending and involving the upper two third of the vagina so the second image is obtained by distension of the vagina by vaginal gel where we can appreciate a t2 hyper intense lesion in the posterior wall of the cervix extending and involving the upper vagina uh, this lesion showed heterogeneous enhancement on post contrast study a uh, restriction of diffusion was seen on diffusion weighted images so the risk factor for cervical cancer consists of hpv multiple sexual partners high parity and immunosuppression squamous cell carcinoma is a more common histological type compared to adenocarcinoma squamous cell carcinoma arises from the squamocolumnar junction while adenocarcinoma arises from endocervix mri is a very useful in local staging of disease it is a valuable tool in assessing the spread of tumor to local and distant lymph node it is also assesses the disease response to chemo radiation 
and uh, differentiates residual or recurrent disease from radiation fibrosis. The MRI is a uh, valuable in deciding the treatment strategies. Thank you.